What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Gem Mint. As you know, we've been making posts in our Facebook group, Geminites, and other Facebook groups asking what was the best omnibus? What's the most overrated statue? Which comic book run didn't deserve an omnibus? And here we are with what comic book runs deserve an omnibus? And I did a little something different this time. I used the tag everyone option over on Facebook, which allows you to tag everybody in the group. And it kind of even looks like I'm tagging you individually because I've seen people hit me with it. So we have 374 comments. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm going to try to condense it a little bit and I'm not going to abuse the tag everyone thing. I know you can only use it once a day. I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to try to use that specifically for these types of posts where we want to get everybody involved and, you know, ask the community. So without further ado, let's talk about comic book runs that have not been collected in an omnibus format that really should be. Steven Wolf says Ghost Rider by Danny Ketch. I actually made a video like this when I read this run in single issues, and I think that was the title of the thumbnail. So totally agree. We have severely low Ghost Rider omnibus. Is that the right way to say that? We got Ghost Rider by Jason Aaron. Pretty cool. But the fact that we don't have the original Johnny Blaze stuff, the Danny Ketch stuff, there's a bunch of modern runs which are dope. That's crazy. Russell Valhalla says Birthright. I feel like that's an indie book, like an image book. I'm not really familiar with it. Darren Becker says Old Man Logan. Plenty of material for two volumes, and that doesn't even include Old Man Hawkeye and Old Man Quill. Yeah, that's true. It was collected, the main story, in The Wolverine by Mark Miller. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was. They could have an old man omnibus, which is what he's hashtagging for sure. Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash could use an oversized hardcover. I'm not really familiar with that, but it looks like you know, a lot of people agree with him. I like this one a <laughs> lot. Let's see what else. 100%. Yeah, a lot of people are into that. Okay, nice pick. Spectacular Spider-Man by J.M. Uh, D. Mateus. I think there's going to be a lot of Spider-Man runs in this thread here because there's so many great stories that have not been collected yet. Hulk by Greg Pak. Danger Girl. So they had an absolute edition. J. Scott Campbell. <laughs> Old school goodness. Deathstroke the Terminator. ASAP Rocky. I didn't know ASAP Rocky threw down on comics and bars. Mitch says Chuck Dixon slash Mike Barron Punisher. So I don't think he me meant to reply to that. But yeah, we could use some more Punisher love. Batman and the Outsiders. Civil War. <laughs> Chris Santy says this is number one. Yeah, I think the rumor on the playground was that Marvel asked somebody, uh, an actor from the movie or Kevin Feige, what they should make a box set for. And they said Civil War, so they made the box set instead of doing an omnibus. I might be thinking about a different run. Let me know in the comments below, but I think that's what it was. People say this, but it would need about three Omnis to get the entire event. That's okay. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, that's okay. Steve says, I'm fine with that. Chris Santi, yeah, I'd buy all three for sure. Mapping the Civil War Omni would be a nightmare. Uh, and leave it to Marvel. It won't be mapped right. Gru, the Messiah Trilogy. Yo, this is underrated. First of all, it looks like Stephen Wolf's hitting us with a ton of gems. So the Bishop stuff, the Bishop Cable run. Damn, I forgot where it falls in the uh, timeline. I read and reviewed the oversized hardcovers, though. That would be an amazing Omni. Hoping to bind my three oversized hardcovers from that era. Sure, exactly. Micaiah Brown in the house. We need more indie Omnis. That, and we need everything Ghost Rider in Omnibus format. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All-Star Squadron, kind of a low-key one, right? Or Ghost Rider, 70s and 90s. That's what I'm saying. Give us Johnny Blaze and Danny Ketch. Spectre by Ostringer and Amandrake. Then have been dang in the house. I'm not familiar with that run. Like most, post-crisis Superman. Shame we could count all the Superman Omnis on two hands. Suicide Squad by Ostringer needs an Omni so bad. Gotta go old school, but the Badger. Web of Spider-Man. Yeah, for real. Let's get the Web of Spider-Man Omnibus. I think the problem with that is... I don't think that run is like a story that you read from issue one to 100. I feel like that's around the time, or at least later in the run, where it's like part one is an amazing Spider-Man, part two is in Web of Spider-Man, part three is in Spectacular Spider-Man. Tim Taylor says, X-Men Road to Onslaught. We need an Onslaught Aftermath. X-Men Hunt for Professor X slash Magneto War. X-Men Gold in Blue. Finish the X-Men timeline, basically. Firepower. I mean, I think they get oversized hardcovers. Deceased would be a great book, too. Yeah, for sure. Amazing Spider-Man underrated character. I mean, at least yeah, continue with it. Let's get that volume six and seven cranking. I guess until it catches up to Spider-Man by Roger Stern, right? John Constantine Hellblazer, the original 300-issue Vertigo run. And if they insist on creator-centric Omnis, then John Constantine Hellblazer by Mike Carey. Yes, it was better than Ennis's run, in my opinion. 
Chris Santi hits him with a yep. Yep. Fuck you, me. And this run was very iconic, but by the time Mike got to it, much had happened to John, and there was a lot more ideas and history to play with around what Mike used very well. So Bly basically championing that. Craven's last hunt should be an omnibus. You know, somebody actually hit me up asking me, like, an omnibus where that run was collected. And I don't think that is collected in an omnibus. It's got its own OHC. But, right, there is no uh, omnibus that collects Craven's last hunt, especially with the movie coming out. You'd think we would have something coming. Robert Denny says, not an omnibus, but an absolute for death of the family. New 52 Joker with his leather face torturing the Bat family. So wait a minute. They have, um, is that not collected in the Batman by Snyder and Capullo? Firestorm, the Demon, Captain Adam, and Booster Gold should have a few omnibus. Yeah. Green Lantern, Bronze Age, and Golden Age. I've been waiting for them for so long. Also, Swamp Thing by Alan Moore, but that's obvious, right? I mean, we have beautiful absolute editions for it, but let's get that omnibus. They could probably put that all in one omnibus, I would think, right? That would be a nice, fat omni, man. Swamp Thing by Alan Moore? How have they not done that? They should make it flocked, too. <laughs> Amazed they haven't started collecting X-Men Volume 2, Claremont slash Lee, into Omnis yet. Maybe once Uncanny catches up, uh, we'll see it. Many issues appeared in Fatal Attractions and The Wedding. The Wedding, though, was that an Omnibus or an OHC? I don't think either one of these were Omnis. It spread out through a bunch of other Omnis. Yeah, that's what I thought. Pretty much all Uncanny Omnis with 90 material. Crosses over heavily with Uncanny for a long time. As a Superman fanboy, John Burns run as well as Birds of Prey by Gail Simone. Over at Marvel, I'd like to see Silver Surfer by Jim Starlin and the Ron Mars runs. Okay. Raw High Kid slash Kid Colt Sean Lee in the house. Westerns need some Omnibus love. Plus, what is that, Pilgrim? Or is he just calling us Pilgrim? All the not collected Green Arrow runs. Batman by Tom King would be amazing. I gotta get these blue blockers on. It should include the Bane trilogy and the issues where Batman and Catwoman got married. And should also have all the stuff at the beginning of Rebirth. I mean, there's enough material there now. Whether or not it should be collected, I think that's going to be a debatable subject. Shade the Changing Man Vertigo. Not familiar with that. Another one. All 300 issues of Hellblazer. Another John Byrne Man is Steel. Guardians of the Galaxy team up. Uh, Naruto needs a Viz Big edition, right? Captain Carrot and his amazing zoo crew. You lose me on Captain Carrot and all that. What do you call that stuff from DC? It's during the crisis events. Every single paperback compendium coming out next year. Some personal ones I'd love to see. Smallville, Batman Earth One, Batman White Knight, Deceased, Alan Moore Swamp Thing again, Red Robin. Another Suicide Squad, another Batman and the Outsiders. A lot of uh, the same runs are coming up, so that kind of shows you that, you know, people want these runs collected. All the Lantern titles from Jeff Johns to current, Jonah Hex. We need the 90s Green Lantern stuff, man. The Parallax, Hal Jordan becoming Parallax, more Hellblazer, the Red Lantern New 52 run. <laughs> I mean, is this for real? Another one for Spectre. Pick any random DC title, especially from the 80s. Specifically, though, I'd love a John Ostriger focused set of Omnis, including Spectre, Martian Manhunter, and Suicide Squad. Let's all also push for that Mike Grell Warlord. Modern Jonah Hex. Suicide Squad that came out of the Legends crossover, Earth 2. Aaron Brown says, yes. Alex Ross from both Marvel and DC, mainly an artist edition like Jim Lee, Todd McFarlane, and Frank Miller. Mitch says, scalped. Yeah, I think they were like six oversized hardcovers. That could do for a nice two omnibus set. John Burns, Next Man, Man Thing. I don't know which run. Marvel slash Malibu Universe. You know what I would want to see? The Amalgam Universe collected in an omnibus. I love those comics. It's a bunch of one shots. I think some of them have a couple of issues. The 130 issues between Superman and... The Exiled and Death in Return to about three or four Omnis. Another one for Gru. Another one for Scalped. Weapon X slash Weapon H. So they can make a whole Brood Omnibus. Every Brood appearance. That would be kind of cool. I'm surprised they haven't done that. The Max. Dang, this is the right answer. That's cool, yo. The Max for sure. Sam Keith goodness. More Scalped. Fist of the North Star. So they have the small little hardcovers, which are pretty cool. Sweet Tooth. Edge of the Veniverse once it's complete. I'd also like to see a Lobo Omnibus. Yo, for real. A Lobo Omnibus is needed. Non-Marvel DC. Grim Fairy Tales. Mortal Kombat X. You know I would love that, yo. They had trade paperbacks. And Zombie Tramp, which I'm not familiar with. 90s Punisher and Ghost Rider. Hell yeah. Didn't they start collecting the 90s Punisher run in Back to the War? Or am I thinking about something else? 
Attack on Titan with a hardcover. I thought they made some huge hardcover Attack on Titan books. Another one for Scalped. DC doesn't even have the trades in print. The same counts for most of their former Vertigo titles. Transmetropolitan, 100 Bullets, Invisibles, We Three, Joe the Barbarian, Exterminators, House of Secrets, Punk Rock Jesus. All have been out of print for a long time. Yeah, Sean Gordon Murphy's Batman Universe. Yeah, they could make a fat Omni because there's a, like a bunch of follow-up series for that. I don't know if it's been announced, but Zadarsky Daredevil. Yeah, it was announced. Narrative there's this weird hole right now between Justice League, the new 52 Volume 2, and Dark Knight's Metal. While we got the deluxe hardcovers for Snyder's JL, we ought to have an omnibus of it. There is also a hole in the Batman with Tom King's run, which they mentioned earlier, right? We've already got Tomasi Detective. I wish they would release Omnis with narrative sense, aka fill in the blanks for the runs that were missing. Green Lantern Silver Age Volume 3. I know they're coming out with a continuation with the Green Lantern slash Green uh, Arrow Omnibus, but that tells me they probably won't make a Volume 4. Submariner 1968 run and Cerebus by Dave Sim, but Logan's saying Cerebus will probably never happen due to the controversy, which I'm not even familiar with, to be honest. But I know they have been omitting that stuff from Spawn Collected Editions, I think. Nightwing by Chuck Dixon, Daredevil by Ann Nocenti, Batman by Tom King, again, just Catwoman. Just whatever, whatever you want to put in there. This is my answer, Rick Remender's Venom Run. The Venom Run I picked up with issue one, recently getting back into comic books, reading the whole thing, collecting damn near every variant, leading into Space Night. They did trades. I think they did oversized hardcovers for this. Did they? Maybe they didn't. I'd love to see a Gambit omnibus, and my man Joel has it mapped out. Give us the four-issue miniseries. First of all, you got to give us the first appearances, right, in the beginning. Four-issue miniseries from 93, then from 97. You got a one-half issue, it looks like, from 1999 with issues 1 through 25. So he had a pretty long run here. Gambit Bishop miniseries. The Rogue uh, little miniseries. Yeah, this would be a great omnibus. They could even throw in the five-issue series from last year. I think they should throw in his first appearance run, too. The Storm story. Another one for Suicide Squad. Dark Rain Era Thunderbolts. They just put out a thicker trade paperback for that. Hold on. Yeah, I don't even know if this is out yet, but they put out the Dark Rain, like a fat trade paperback. So not to say that means they're definitely going to do it, but hey. Now you got a shot. Ninja Funk is already celebrating their one year anniversary and they're having a huge event at the Ninja Exchange in Carlsbad, California. Not only will there be a live signing with co-creators JPG and Steve Shewitt, but they're bringing out legendary artists Jim Lee and David Mack. But that's not all. We have special guest John Dolmayan, the creator of Essencia, founder of Torpedo Comics. If you're in the area, make sure to come swing by on November 18th and 19th for the celebration. Dan Slott, amazing Spider-Man. I've been saying this since I started this channel. Triangle Era Superman. John Byrne Superman, Man of Steel. Another one for Suicide Squad. Another one for Spectre. I really want to read the Spectre Omnibus that they put out. It's one of them that has always been on my read pile. The Messiah Era, although I think the mapping is hard and would probably just stick to the mishmash of the OHCs. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Krakoa Era OHCs. I really want the series without oversized hardcovers to get them. I don't know if that's going to happen. Greg Rucka, Wonder Woman. That seems enough to list. Thank you, Carl. Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows. Old Man Logan could be two volumes. Earth 2 could be three volumes. I think that's a second request for that. Red Lanterns and Sinestro Omnibus. Nick Norris says Infinity Inc., All-Star Squadron, Quasar, and Booster. B -b 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 booster Gold. Instead of case files, I would love a Judge Dread Omnibus or full compendium. I would also like the Shadow to get an Omnibus. Those old issues are expensive and hard to hunt down, which is a good reason to get it collected as an Omni. Northlanders, best we could hope for is a compendium at this point. Marslim Silver Surfer again. Edit. Doom 2099 is my top choice. I think I've glanced at this and saw somebody else say the 2099 world. We have the X-Men 2099 omnibus coming out. We need the whole universe collected. The Ghost Rider stuff. Punisher. However they want to do it. Sleepwalker and Darkhawk. Easy. They're like 35 issue runs. Let's get it into an omni. Exiled. I would have said Justice League Dark Rebirth, but my wish came true. Another Mike Grell Warlord. Look, a lot of familiar stuff. Legends, All-Star Squadron, Man of Steel by John Byrne, Civil War, ASM Volume 6, Booster Gold Original Run. Hell yeah. Silver Age Namor, eh. Batman and the Outsiders. Yeah, see a, a couple of the... Oh, what's up, Ed Loot? Okay. Red Robin by Chris Yost. It's currently unaffordable to buy that run in any existing format. 
Daredevil again by Anna uh, Nascenti. Dan Slott, Amazing Spider-Man. Like, seriously. Batman post-crisis from the start. Paul Jenkins, Spectacular Spider-Man from the 2003 volume. Agent Era run, which is Rick Remender. Kyle Rayner, Green Lantern. Hell yeah. Web of Spider-Man, Batman by Tom King. Any modern X-Men after Astonishing. Old Man Logan again. Spectre again. American Flag by Chaykin. Pretty much anything Superman. Yeah, criminally underproduced Omnis. Even though he does have a lot now with all the Golden Age ones they printed. I think they did like 10 of them shits. Supergirl by Peter David. I'm surprised there isn't one. If it was a Marvel run, we would have it. Peter David. I feel like Peter David's got almost as many Omnibus published as Stan Lee. I should do a count on that one day. I really want a Generation X Omnibus, Dark Reign, All-Star Squadron, Deathstroke by Wolfman, which I believe is the Terminator run. Hawkworld by Ostrander. Am I saying that name right? That's not a name I say ever. Green Lantern by Ron Mars, Northlanders by Brian. What's his last name? Wood? X-Files 0 through 41 run by Tops. That's cool. V, The Visitors are our friends. Those first two miniseries are my favorite TV show. Another Deathstroke. Another Gru. Ghost Rider again. Doom 2099 again. Another Daredevil. Animal Man Post Morrison in two volumes. Swamp Thing by Mark Miller. I've never read that. That sounds interesting. X-Men by Mike Carey, Green Lantern Mosaic, second for Mosaic, unlikely since the writer went to jail for something terrible. That's not good. A Boy Can Dream, I need more Last Ronin content to ask for an Omni. Yeah, I think they're doing it, right? Because they're doing Lost Years, and I know they're doing a hardcover for that. So eventually, we could get something completed in one omnibus volume two for the uh mirage run just came out i got it coming in the mail punisher slash punisher war journal from the 90s definitely star spangled war stories especially the later issues where they fight dinosaurs dark horse terminator for sure alf <laughs> marvel civil war exactly yeah why are they not doing it civil war has to be one of the most wish omnis to be made the amount of money they'd make from that would probably beat 80% of any other books they can make. Maybe David Gabriel just hated the event or something. Yeah, you're telling me Civil War is not going to sell better than August 1961 or whatever? Come on, man. It could be done in three, but I have no idea how it would be mapped. Maybe a row two volume, then mixing the main series with tie-ins in two volumes. Yeah, that would sound good. That's probably why it's taking so long. I doubt it. With how bad the mapping is on some of these event omnis, you'd think they would have just packaged it and shipped it already. <laughs> mapping the event. Exiled by Marvel. So many great arcs in that original series. Radiant Black should get an omnibus after Catalyst War. Look at Bryce keeping up with uh, Kyle Higgins there. And include the super massive issues. Nova from the Marvel Now era. That's the Sam Alexander run. I was reading that as it came out. And my daughter was really into it as it was coming out. That's funny. Red Robin, Nightwing by Chuck Dixon. Complete Asriel for sure. Yeah, Sean Gordon Murphy Batman. Give us all of it. Manhunter, Batman War Game slash Crimes, the IDW Ghost Rider series, which was like a super sought after OHC set, right? Logan saying, Azrael is too long overdue for collected editions. Azrael fans like myself are dying of thirst for collected editions. From Marvel, Doom 2099, DC, there's so many, but Supergirl by Peter David. Another one, Batman War Games and War Crimes. Another Chuck Dixon, Nightwing. Easily one of the best runs for the character. Also love the art by Scott McDaniel. Another one for Nightwing by Chuck Dixon. Dan Slott, Fantastic Four. Is that not collected? No, that's not collected in Empire. But yeah, there should be a, a Dan Slott, Fantastic Four omnibus. Another one with the, with the two, unless that's the same guy. Dark Hawk and Sleepwalker. So Dark Hawk had 50 issues and Sleepwalker had, what did I say, 35? Had 33. Marvel Team Up, Marvel 2 and 1. Web of Spider-Man I'm with. Ghost Rider. The, I mean, we need some Johnny Blaze, Danny Ketch stuff first. But yeah, I mean, eventually to get a Robbie Reyes. I second the Agent Venom era for sure. DC needs one. Yo, 20 likes on that. My life seemed complete until I saw this post. Thief of Thieves. Chew. That's Joshua Williamson too. Exo Manowar. Batman Murderer slash Fugitive. And another one, Chuck Dixon Nightwing. And Justice 2 needs an omnibus for sure, man. Let's get that follow up. Bruce Jones Hulk. Another one. Look, back to back. Damn, that's funny. D-Rock, for sure. Danny Catch Ghost Rider all damn day. Kid Colt, another one. Marvel Team Up, Marvel 2 and 1. Ninth Man, Batman by Grant slash Bayfogle. Armageddon 2001. Elseworlds. DC Comics Presents, Golden Age JSA, Golden Age Shazam, Shade, The Changing Man by Pete Milligan, and Green Lantern Mosaic. Another one for that. Have never read that. Which won't happen due to Gerard Jones's criminal history. Yep, all these have been said, and I agree with all of them. Outsiders by Judd Winnick. 
I've been patiently waiting for another, yeah, X-Men Messiah War slash Messiah Complex for sure. Bronze Age Doctor Strange is still missing after all the Silver Age stuff. Frank Burner, Steve Englehart, etc. Lobo by Alan Grant. That's got to come, man. An Omni for the minis and the one-shots, plus an Omni for the 90s ongoing series. It went for 64 issues with three annuals and two to three one-shots. Hell yeah. So they are doing a Lobo compendium next year, but I don't know if it's Alan Grant. Okay. Black Hammer. They have huge library editions for that, I think. These are a lot of familiar ones. Warlord, Spectre, Infinity Inc., Batman, Bronze Age. I'm sure they'll get to that. Of course, Johnny and Danny, Ghost Rider. Hulk, Mantlo, Secret Wars, and Jonah Hex. A lot of these have been said, yeah, but Exile, Messiah, Deceased, White Knight, DC vs. Vampires, for sure. There's enough. A main 12-issue series, one-shots, and they might have even done a follow-up series, if I think about it. Wastelanders and Tales of the Dark Multiverse. All of 2099 needs an omnibus, for sure. Lobo, Demon, Gru, yes. All right, Thomas Ryan got his son. Road to Onslaught, agree. Batman starting post-crisis on Infinite Earths. Batgirl, the Cassandra Kane run. Daredevil by Dennis O'Neill. Fantastic Four by Tom DeFalco. Another Superman by John Byrne. We were supposed to get that, and then they dropped it as what, like a standard size hardcover or something? Nightwing, it's getting a compendium, but should be an omnibus. What's up with DC printing compendiums all of a sudden? Tim Drake, Robin series. JLA by Brad Meltzer. Post-Infinite Crisis. Electro by Diodato, Marvel Knights Electra by Bendis, Kingdom Come in the deluxe slash omni page size. Another one for Daredevil by Ann Nascenti. Dare it got a few Daredevil ones. Volume four, which leads up to Frank Miller. Akira Omnis with the 1988 Steve Olive colors are originally published in the West by Marvel. Yeah, that would be dope. Another for Gru. Ninja Boy. Only six issues, but I like to see it collected. Another one for Spectre. Punk Taco, <laughs> uh, Modern Spectre and reprint the Spectre classic from two years ago. Yeah, that's the omnibus that I do have. Saga, Howard Mackey's entire Ghost Rider run. Too many to name, but my top DC are Batman by Tom King, Green Lantern by Venditti, Slim Chance but I love this run, Green Lantern by Morrison and Sharp. From Marvel, a uh, Moon Knight collection that has the six issue story by Ellis and Shalvey. I don't care what else is collected with it. Uh, X-Force by Kyle and Yost. Yeah, that's uh, Uncanny X-Force before Rick Remender's Uncanny X-Force. And I feel like, is that what Messiah Complex led into? I don't remember. Ultimate Fantastic Four would be good. Another Ghost Rider by Howard Mackie. Silver Sable and the Wild Pack. Warlord again by Mike Grell. Yeah, the pre-second coming of Uncanny X-Force by uh, Kyle and Yost. Probably my favorite Utopia era X-Books. Beef it up by including Messiah. Yeah, I, t I knew they were connected. That's what it was, right? Unlimited X-Men from the 90s. I'm probably the only one, but I would love a Scooby Apocalypse omnibus. It'll never happen. If Muppet Babies and Wizard of Oz got an omni, there's hope for everything. All right, my boy D. Mint, Daniel Mitchell. Dan Slott, Spider-Man 2014 and 2015. I'm truthfully happy with the OHCs I've gotten, but I've had a chance to get a custom Venom ink made to complete the 2015 series. Punisher by Greg Rucka, only 16 issues, but the few issues I've read are badass. Thor 2020, hell yeah, Donny Cage Thor. Darth Vader 2020 was great as well, for what I've read. I read all of what came out last year, but I dropped off this year. And ASM Volume 6, of course. Uh, Tony Contreras says Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, the animated series comic book adaptations or adaptions. How do you say it? JLD by Tinian, Justice League Odyssey, Aquaman Rebirth. Injustice 2, Gods Among Us, needs an omnibus to complete what it started last year with Volume 1. Indiana Jones, 2001 A Space Odyssey. So Avengers Arena, I used to have a custom Omni for that. Dark Hawk, yeah. Ultimate Fantastic Four again. Danny Cash Ghost Rider again. Justice League by Scott Snyder. Earth 2 again. Valiant Comics needs omnibus for their new character runs on Bloodshot, XO, Eternal Warrior, and Archer and Ar Armstrong, and reprint their 90s runs. Savage Dragon needs multiple omnibuses for its entire run. Jason vs. Leatherface, Supreme, Wildcats, and Team Youngblood all need omnibuses. They're doing a Wildcats compendium next year, apparently. Another for Spectre by Ostrander and Mandrake. Starman, which had like a crazy series of hardcovers, right? Standard size hardcovers, and then something else. Stormwatch Pre-Authority, America's Best Comics, and Supreme by Alan Moore. 
Legion by Adnan and Lanning, Batman by Grant and Bray Fogel, and Batman by Dixon and Nolan. Guy Gardner, Green Lantern, Omni would be dope, and Warrior Omnibus. Again with Sean Gordon Murphy, Zombie Tramp again, Aliens, those yeah already do exist. <laughs> Firestorm, yeah, for sure. Punisher and Punisher War Zone and War Journal. Nick Fury and his Howling Commandos. I'm sure I'm surprised that didn't come out. Especially during uh, Secret Invasion. TMNT Archie run that was canceled last year, I heard. It was canceled after I sold my trade paperbacks, man. What the hell? That was, yeah, this year it was canceled. That's crazy. Deceased, yeah. Batman Omnis of just miniseries. Kind of like mini buses for Deadpool. Batman Beyond, been waiting forever. Yeah, they did the Batman animated series, Batman Adventures Omnibus. This needs to follow up for sure. And I, I think someone else said the Justice League ones as well. Another one for Marvel Team Up. Another one for Dan Slott's ASM. Original Deathstroke, The Terminator run. Yes, a bunch of Batman stuff, right? DC's Batman Cape Crusader, Batman Dark Detective, Superman Man of Steel. Another for Demon, another for Nightwing. Yo, it's pretty clear on what like the top 10 is, right? We could make a top 10 out of, out of these. So many common runs are being named. Another one for Messiah stuff. JSA All-Star Squadron Infinity Inc. by Roy Thomas. Heavily agree with this. 90s X-Men run. Marvel can even milk it by making variants of those iconic covers. Hell yeah. Another for uh, New 52 Red Lanterns and a Plastic Man omnibus. I think uh, there would be a lot of people into that Plastic Man. Another for the Max. Yeah, I thought we had the X-Factor original series collected. It has not been. I think it's collected over other X-Men Omnis, though. Would love to see reprints of the Nom. 77 Marvel Godzilla, man, would be a good one. How have they not done that? And don't they have, I think, what, is it? Do, is DC doing Godzilla now? Maybe that's why. Who knows? The Crow and Grendel, for sure. What up, Seth? Dial H for Hero, the Will Pfeiffer run. Exiles, 100 issue run. Another for X-Force, Kyle and Yost. Coming soon, the Astro City Omnibus. The Sentry, yeah, for sure. There should be a Sentry Omnibus. The Simpsons Bongo Run. Yeah, apparently they made another Absolute Edition. I got to pick that up. Futures End. Spawn Miniseries Omnibus. Blood Feud. Yeah, there's a bunch of miniseries. Spawn the Impaler. Cygor. There's a bunch of them. I don't know how they would collect that because they have those deluxe editions. Should we get like a, a, a separate deluxe edition? Like, I don't know. I don't know how they would do it. Jeremy King says, we were supposed to get a pit omni, but that ended badly. What happened with the pit omnibus? Why did that end badly? Oh, wasn't there supposed to be like a, a crowdfunding thing with that? And then homie just stopped doing it and did a poster instead or something? Messiah Trilogy, All-Star Squadron, Infinity Inc., Legion Baxter Series, Batman and the Outsiders again, Ruckus Checkmate, another one for Suicide Squad, and original Omega Men. With how much Omega Men 3 is selling on the aftermarket, you would think they would just print this in a collected edition so folks can read it. Mike Woner's got Pit, Darkhawk, Wetworks, Civil War, Savage Dragon, Messiah Trilogy, Dream Wave Transformers, Rebirth Flash, Rebirth Red Hood and the Outlaws, Danny Ketch Ghost Rider, Image TMNT. What happens if they start pushing out omnibuses? Do we sell the deluxe editions? Yes, the answer is yes. We sell the deluxe editions. Manhunter by Andrico. Superman slash Wonder Woman from the New 52. Such a dope book. Animal Man post Morrison run and Shade? Why do I want to read that as Sade? <laughs> right? And again, it's similar to Omega Man 3 with how hot Dazzler is right now. Let's crank out that Dazzler omnibus. <laughs> yeah, Civil War. A lot of the same names we're seeing now. Alien Costume Saga and Craven's Last Hunt. Fill in the gap between Stern and the McFarlane omnibus. Yeah, for sure. You know, that's funny. They have a trade paperback named this. That's how I've read it for the first time. Another for Flash Rebirth. Transformers and G.I. Joe by Marvel. Can they do that now with how the rights work? Like, with Image owning the rights and publishing those books, can Marvel still print their original material? I don't think so, right? Because isn't that why they published Conan the Barbarian? Because they had finally got the rights? I don't know. Civil War, yes. Original Sin. Didn't they have an omnibus for that, though? Or was that an oversized hardcover that looked like an omnibus? Yeah, 2015 Secret Wars and Battle World, especially where that's where the MCU is leading up to, right? So we need to get a, a dedicated omnibus for that. And then the typical DC ones that we've been seeing. Mark Grunwald's cap. Does Onslaught have an omni? Yes, it does. Generation X, New X-Men, we have Gillen's Uncanny. I think I had a custom omni for that at one point. And Bendis is uncanny. Definitely Nightwing by Chuck Dixon, right? All of the Sean Gordon Murphy. Yes. Spider Woman. Original Spider Woman and Tomb Raider. I'm with that. Transformers with better mapping, hopefully, than IDW. I think he means Marvel Transformers. But even so, 
The Transformers oversized hardcovers or deluxe editions. Yep, Danny Ketch. Yep, for Inhumans. Norbert's got plenty. I Vampire by D. Mateus. Spectacular and Web of Spider Man. Full runs. Man of Steel by Byrne. Yes. Batman and the Detective Comics after the first crisis. First of all, we need Crisis on Infinite Earths, the omnibus. How has nobody said that? Spider Woman by Dennis Hopeless. I don't know. I think you're alone on that one. New Avengers and all the Avengers stuff. Yeah, wasn't there supposed to be a volume two for New Avengers? Like it's labeled volume one, if I'm not mistaken. Silver Surfer after the first series through present day. That's, yeah, we have too few Silver Surfer Omnis for sure. Continue the Valiant Classic Omnis with volume twos. And another one for Transformers, the original Marvel years. This is going to be a long video, y'all. Fuck. Dance Slot by Spider-Man, Tom King, Batman, Civil War, Secret Wars, Gen 13, The Max, Doctor Who slash Star Trek. Hitman's finally getting an omnibus next year. A series I'd really like to see in omnibus format is Northlanders by Brian Wood, maybe Hellblazer by Azarello, and another volume by Mike Carey or any others. And they have a few omnis of Aliens in Predator, but an Alien vs. Predator Omnibus would be good to have as well. Also, classic G.I. Joe by Hama would be great. Yes, I agree with all that. Another one for original Marvel Comics G.I. Joe. 155 issues. Dang. So you would have to do like five or six volumes. Because what do they do? Like 30-something issues per? You could try to squeeze 50 in uh, each Omnibus. A few more DC Omnis I'd love to see are Jonah Hex by Pal Miotti and Gray. Secret Six by Gail Simone and Outsiders by Winnick. All the Jeff John Superman stuff. It have his run and Secret Origin and anything else pertaining to Superman. Pax Incredible Hercules. Also Starman by Robinson. The Max ran for 35 issues and it's perfect for an omnibus. Who owns the right to the Max? Sam Keith? Does he own the rights? He should Kickstarter that shit, yo. And please, just make it the same trim as Marvel and DC Omnibuses. Another one for New 52 Red Lanterns. Another for Punisher's 90s run. What up, Blake Kenny? Punisher War Journal. Again, yeah, we're getting a lot of that. And, of course, this. Yeah, another for Alien, Costume Saga, or just start Web of Spider-Man, and then X-Force by Kyle and Yost. Hell yeah. JMD Mateus, Spider-Man, top five Spidey runs of all time, and it's not collected completely. Shame on you, Marvel. <laughs> Roger Stern Avengers, a fan favorite era for the team. JMS Supreme Power. I hope they are not done with collecting the Marvel Max series. Rene Montoya question is really good, apparently. I'd be excited for that and just more magic characters in general. Transmetropolitan need, uh, needs an all-in-one or two Max. Okay, yeah, because they have a three-volume absolute set. Tales of the Jedi series. Yeah, Marvel's cranking out the Star Wars Omnis. Lady Mechanica. They have, what, a 2011 volume and a, like a 2020 volume, if not more. We'd love to see Crossed in one big omnibus. Superman Beyond, Justice League Beyond, and Batman Beyond. All three need an omnibus. Another for Northlanders. Star Wars Clone Wars. Another for Doom 29. Yeah, another for these three. Yeah, Lobo. Lobo needs an omnibus for sure. New Avengers Part 2. Yes, they never came out with Volume 2. Another for Scooby-Doo Apocalypse. I know Rock and Robbie liked that run as it was coming out. Our Man by Tom Payer. Transmetropolitan again. Web of again. OG Transformers again. Spider Island New Ways to Die Agent Venom. Yeah, these were all the runs I was reading in single issues when I got back into reading this, man. Hell yeah. That's Dan Slot. I feel like, right? Pretty sure. Another for OG Marvel, Transformers, Rebels. Easy. X-Force by Kyle and Yost for sure. And why not go for X-Men by Joe Mad? But got to pick and choose those stories so we don't lose important story elements from a certain like storyline or event. Yeah. Venom by Rick Remender. Warren Ellis Stormwatch. Thor by DeFalco and Friends. Gotham Academy. Thundercats is one I would love to see in omnibus format, and we already have He-Man. I would be with that. OMAC by John Byrne needs an OHC. Ice Cream Man, once it gets to issue 50 slash 60. The only thing is, Image doesn't really do omnibuses, right? They'll do deluxe editions. They'll do compendiums, hardcover compendiums even. Another for King's Batman. Superman needs a modern omnibus. I've waited a decade, then gave in and bought her volumes, but I think Godzilla really needs one. Rules of Earth seriously needs one. Tom Taylor's Nightwing. Yes. Is that still ongoing? Maybe that's why it hasn't been collected. Another Deathstroke, the Terminator, and Marvel's Godzilla. The Walking Dead comics are currently getting colorized versions, and I would personally love to see the take in a large size format. And we got those like absolute editions, so why don't they give us omnibuses of the colored editions, maybe? Reginald Hudlin's Black Panther. Why has this 
not already happen is the real question. J-Rock in the house hitting us with the 90s Punisher stuff. Anything Spidey, especially the ones that are out of print. <laughs> this YouTube is going to be fire and long as hell. Yeah, the tag everyone thing is crazy. Deceased. Yes, Taylor's Nightwing run. King's Batman run. Zdarsky's Batman I'm with. Jeff Johns JSA. Another one for Chuck Dixon. His Robin run though and Nightwing. Jurgens Booster Gold. Hell yeah, Dan Jurgens is the man. Another for Adventures of Superman, which is the animated series. Another one for Civil War and Siege, which Siege had an oversized hardcover as well. I did a review on that one a couple years ago. Another one for DC vs. Vampires. Batman by Doug Monch. There are two hardcovers, and I'm sure they could add more to it, maybe with some of the Elseworlds material. Chu badly needs an omnibus, especially since the collected editions have been out of print. And Tom Burker got in at the buzzer while we were reading this post and uh, says DC's Stanley and his monster. Man, this was a long ass video. I think we should make a top 10 video out of this because there's so many ones that I've seen repeating. Maybe we should go and count and rank them. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe as I'm editing this, I'll give a count on how many times everybody said certain volumes and based on the number of times they were mentioned is how we'll rank them. Maybe we'll do that. Come join our Facebook group, Geminites. We ask that you answer the three questions so that we know you're not a bot. We don't typically approve brand new accounts, faceless accounts, because people try to scam and are you know trying to come in there and troll or whatever. But yo, thank you for everybody who participated. Let me know in the comments of this video what the next community post should be. I have a couple of ones tucked uh, that we can do, but I do want to get some more ideas. So let me know in the comments down below. If you guys are enjoying the content, please leave a like on the video. I'm trying to see something with the like stuff. So if you can, if it's not too much trouble, I know I watch on my TV. You can still like the video if you're watching on TV, unless you're not signed in. But uh, please leave the like. Thank you for watching. Stay minty fresh. Peace.